the former CIA director gave him the viral ass kicking he deserves. It's getting to become almost a rote exercise. Nearly every day President Trump spews forth his lie and hate-filled propaganda on Twitter, presenting his followers with an alternative to the reality that they don't want to recognize or believe. Nearly every day a former government official from a time before the inmates took over the asylum goes on Twitter to point out the fallacies, deceit, immorality, and insanity in whatever putrid statement the president is trying to put over on a gullible populace. Today it was former CIA director John Brennan's turn. Trump can't go a day without attacking the probe by special counsel Robert Mueller into his campaign's collusion with Russia to illegitimately win the 2016 presidential election as well as his obstruction of justice in trying to derail that investigation. His latest derailment attempt came in the form of his tweeted response to a Fox News poll about the Mueller investigation, or as Trump likes to maliciously and erroneously call it, the Democrat-inspired and paid-for Russian witch hunt. John Brennan, the former CIA director during the Obama administration, saw Trump's pack of lies which distort the results of Fox News poll to the exact opposite of what they actually show and responded with a tweet of his own that explained the motivations behind the president's tweet and wondered when those surrounding the obviously seriously deficient head of the executive branch of government would wake up to the consequences of their failure to control his erratic behavior. Brennan's question to the Republican leadership is rhetorical, of course, since it's inconceivable that anyone, even the out-of-touch Republican leadership, could have failed to realize the damage that the president is causing to our country. They simply choose to enjoy the benefits of retaining their power for their own selfish interests and those of their corporate overlords rather than act in the best interests of the majority of our nation's citizens. For the record, by the way, the very premise of Trump's tweet is a complete lie, since the actual Fox News poll shows that the number of people polled who believe that the Trump campaign coordinated their actions with Russia has actually increased by 4% in the last year as shown in this graphic from the Fox News website. Moreover, despite Trump's constant crowing of witch hunt, and no collusion, a full 60% of Americans believe that Trump should be interviewed by Mueller according to the same Fox News poll. With the president's audacity to tell such easily discredited, bold-faced lies, it's no wonder that the former CIA director attributes Trump's behavior to fear and desperation. No sane person believes the president at this point, and his constant attempts to distract from and discredit Mueller's investigation into his misdeeds only serves to further point to his probable guilt.